Welcome to part 17 of my Tava Blog Udamods videos. If you are familiar with my schedule, you might have noticed that I uploaded this video a week early. And that's something that I wanted to quickly address before I get on with the rest of the video. So, as I said, I normally upload these videos as a bi weekly series, meaning you get a new video every other week. But the thing is, I, cause I don't have a working 3D printer right now, I couldn't find anything to do with the upload slots in between. And at the same time, I'm also making a lot more progress compared to my usual speed for the Black Widow mode series. So I'm also find, finding myself deleting a lot of the parts that I shot just to make the video 10 to 15 minutes, which is... I feel like the ideal length for these videos, but again, I'm also deleting a lot of stuff that you might want to see, so I decided to do weekly series for the next month or so. After that, once I'm done with the control box and the duet Wi-Fi and etc, it will go back to being a bi-weekly series, but for now, you will get a new video in the Black Widow mode series every week. So. Yeah, that's just what, what I wanted to say, so without further delay, let's just get on with the rest of the video. My order from E3D has finally arrived, and as you can see, this is the order that contained the uh, Duet Wi-Fi. So here it is, I'll just get to unboxing this in a sec, but let's also look at the other stuff that I ordered. Here's just a steel ruler, though. don't worry about that. Here is a PT100 daughter board for the Duet Wi-Fi. And yeah, this should give you an idea about my plan. I'm considering using a PT100 sensor instead of the regular thermistor inside the hot end. So yeah, let's just get this out of the anti-static wrap. And here it is. It's just a small daughter board that can accept two PT100 sensors and this daughter board by, them by itself isn't is pretty expensive as well but yeah it made sense it also has that small resistor there which I don't know what it's for but yeah we'll get to that and in this pack we have this Capricorn, I think that's how it's pronounced, P Bowden tubing. It's just going to go inside my hot end. I think it's built according to tighter tolerances, so it should work theoretically better. Here is the new heater block that I ordered. It's the plated copper one. It just looks cooler, and yeah, that's basically the only reason that I ordered it. Here is the PT100 sensor. It also has that extension cable, but I'm using. I'm going to use my own. And here is a plated copper 0.4 millimeter nozzle. You know that I normally use my hardened steel nozzle, but there is a problem with that hardened steel nozzle, and that is the thermal transfer of that nozzle isn't really perfect, meaning that the flow rate and the print quality is lower with that nozzle. So I decided to reserve my plate hardened steel nozzle only for harsh materials like carbon fiber and also that my carbon fiber printing is pretty terrible as well, it just fails. Anyway, it, this makes more sense for regular materials and yeah, that's the reason that I ordered it. So now let's also unbox the Duet Wi-Fi. So here is all the stuff that it ships with. It comes with a, a monoprice USB lead. Here are some Olex KK pins from a company called Wurf Electronic. I don't know. Here are some KK connectors and some ferules for putting on the wires. A sticker and a thank you paper. And here is the Duet Wi-Fi itself.
there is a sticker on the main processor so I can't read that but here you can see it's a Duet 2 meaning Duet Wi-Fi version 1.03 it also ships with a um, apparently it ships with a micro SD card I didn't really know that I didn't know that I needed one either maybe it's a gift and I don't need one I don't know but anyway it's there uh, again as I said I can't read that processor because of the sticker and I'm not going to remove it because of just in case I need some warranty and here are the Trinamic TMC2660 drivers that I am excited to test so hopefully I'll be able to test them pretty soon and let's also put on the daughter board just goes over these board to board interconnect pins like so so here's just a quick size comparison between the Duet Wi-Fi and the MKS Gen boards. So they are roughly the same width, but as you can see, there is a very significant length difference, and the Duet Wi-Fi is quite a bit larger. This means that I'll have to rethink my arrangement of the boards inside my control box, but that's not a big deal since I'm pretty sure I have enough space now that I remove both the MKS Gen and the the MOSFET board which is not needed anymore because the wet Wi-Fi can handle the Black Widow's heatpad so it's not going to be a big issue for me but if you're considering ordering this board keep the size difference in mind I have now cut new aluminium sheets for mounting the electronics I'm not going to use the older sheets that I cut and drilled uh, for two reasons. One, they are all scratched up and they don't look good anymore. But more importantly, the holes aren't, they don't match anymore because I have to rearrange the entire control box. Meaning that a lot of the holes will be unpopulated. It would look ugly and that might potentially get in the way as well. So I decided to cut, recut them and we after rearranging them mount the electronics again so here is the arrangement for the bigger sheet I'm going to have the duet Wi-Fi here along with two buck converters I'm not 100% sure which function I'm going to load give these buck converters yet one of them will be the layer fan no the attend fan for sure layer fan isn't controlled um, I mean, layer fan isn't speed controlled using voltage, it's speed controlled through the Dwight Wi Fi, while the hot end fan is speed controlled using my buck converters. Anyway, it's a bit confusing. I'll move on to the other board, the other sheet. Here I will have the Raspberry Pi mounted here, and it's going to go on this black plastic enclosure mainly because none of the standoffs that I have fit this Raspberry Pi unfortunately for some stupid reason Raspberry Pi only works with 2.5 mm uh, M2.5 M2 screws and M2.5 standoffs I have M2 standoffs and M3 standoffs but I don't have M2.5 so yeah this is how it's going to go unfortunately I also have the relay board here and two more pack converters you might notice that one of the buck converters has higher standoffs. That's not a mistake that I made. That's just to allow me to organize the USB power cable for the Raspberry Pi a bit more neatly. So yeah, as you can see, I've now drilled the holes for these plates as well. All I need to do is to paint them. Here they are painted. Now I will mount the electronics to them and as you can see I've mounted the left side I've also mounted the right side but I forgot to take a picture of that but I have them both installed in this picture here so yeah now I'll do some wiring and also install the top part of the control box and then show you how it looks I am now done with mounting the electronics and I've also done some wiring as you can see I wired the power to the duet and the heat pad here it didn't do a great job with it but I think it's good enough I have the USB cable just running around a little bit here and then plug it plugging in here I had to shave a bit off from that connector 
because I need to protect the fan. So other than that, the camera ribbon is connected. I also I connected the power to the Raspberry Pi. I connected the relay to the the power supply to the relay. I haven't done the wiring between these two things. And yeah, so as you can see, I will be using Octoprint still, even though I also have the Duet. I will explain that in a later video, not today. So yeah, this is all I managed to do in terms of wiring. I also mounted the top part, as you can see, but uh, I did damage it while mounting it. This is one of the printer issues that I had before and these parts never really stuck that together that well and I fixed it in the initial print by using some super glue and you can see some remnants of that here. Oh yeah, it wasn't strong enough to hold up so it just dismantled itself. I also had some problems with as you can see the connecting the blades to the top panel as well and that's because the top panel didn't print properly in terms of proportions it's a bit larger than it's supposed to be again this is something that I didn't mention in the earlier video but because I thought, I thought to myself I could fix it by sanding because I only thought these parts were longer but no the entire thing is a bit too large so and it's not like I can print it again so yeah, I'm going to have to live with that. I haven't connected any of these, these are all just wires coming from the power supply. Well, with the exception of this black one which I'll get to. But this is just in case I want to power something else, I still need to power these bug converters. So probably I'll just use this one or this one or whatever and keep the rest for future wires. As for this, this is actually the mains voltage, AC to 20 volts. I have a plan for this, but I'm not going to use it immediately, so... And I'm not sure if I'll ever get to that either, but if I get to it, I think I, I, I will do it. And what I want to do with this is to wire it into the relay. This relay supports up to 250 volts, so it's fine. And then connect the the LED light that I have on top of the enclosure to this as well. That's what that normally runs at the AC volts. So yeah, I also want to wire the smaller the LED strip that's under the excursion to the relay as well. But again, I will get to those in a later video. They are all related to Octoprint, which yeah, I still need to set up that. So yeah, there is also a lot more work to do here. I also haven't done anything with the back part of these connectors, so yeah, there's still a lot more to do, so. So that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give me a like below. As I said, I'll try to make a new video every week, instead of making one every other week, so yeah, hopefully you will see one next week as well, and yeah, thanks for watching.